Welcome back. Yes, you are back with your boy Scotius. We are in the Master League right now, and we have our Mewtwo on the lead, of course, faced up against a Rayquaza. We'll force send in that side strike straight away quickly. And that was CMP, right? Of course, Mewtwo wins that. They've shielded, so we're going to shield back, of course. Okay, they're going for the break and swipe. That does debuff our attack, but we're going to go for that Ice Beam. It doesn't matter if it's debuffed, if they let this go, it will be wrapping up that Rayquaza like a Christmas present. Oi, oi! Let's go, man. Let's go. So they're bringing Mewtwo, they know it's safe. Because they've seen that we have Ice Beam, so we obviously not got that Shadow Ball. We're going to throw that side strike because any chip is better than none. And then they're gonna offload before we get to a second. All right. Now we bring in our Zation. They throw after one cycle cut as we came in with the Zation. Okay, side strike. Obviously, big damage. If it's neutral or super effective, you already know how hard you need to hit. You're going for that wild charge. They decide to shield it. We swap out straight away into our ground and they are shieldless. Let's see what the vibe is. They might want to dip out at some point. We let their side strike go on our ground. On. Obviously, we can look to shield the second one. Now what do they want to do? We're waiting on them. What do they want to do? Yeah, now they try to sort plant. Okay. It's fine because they got heat shine, so we're gonna offload the precipice blaze. Why oi. <laughs> now going for the fire punch on that Mewtwo. Is it enough to wrap it up from this range? Of course it is. And that's GG's. Nicely done. Alright. Taking that W, let's move swiftly on into the next one. Okay, face up against a Gyarados, we definitely don't mind this. So let's see how it plays out. Alright, we're throwing the slash right straight away. No overloading, straight away. We want to force them to make a decision off the rip, they let it go. Big damage. Now we don't want to do we have to expect a catch and yeah we was expecting it so we hold our energy there they thought because we threw the first side strike straight away that we we're gonna throw the second one straight away now nah. now we expected that that catch so we hold our nerve and they swap out <laughs> and growled on <laughs> obviously loves to see this magnezone that they've brought in so we're just overloading on energy and then just gonna go for a fire punch no need for the precipice blades here but they decide to shield for some reason because we're stacked on energy we can offload another fire punch do they want to double up they do uh, what is their plan here anyway they go for the wild charge now thinking that's gonna threaten Groudon and then we swap out into our Mewtwo and then they swap back into their Gyarados. They go for the Aquatel. Still not making use of a shield, no need. Slash so Strike will take out the Gyarados, of course. Bye bye. And they got Zekrom in the back. But we got Ice Beam on deck, which does big damage. So yeah. They top left. They realize finally where that one is heading to the G on to the next one okay face up against sensation we're not complaining we love to see it they dip out straight away into their Dialga the Dialga is met by our Groudon we get to the Precipice Blades before they can get to Iron Head because we're quick on the swap too we decide to shield okay Alright, so we're going to shield back. Alright. Offloading the press was blaze. Do they want to double up? Let's see. They do. Okay. Okay, so now how do we want to play this? Do we want to double up? 
Is it worth it? Yeah. Let's get rid of this silly Dialga. Let's see why they want to fight for Switch so bad. And that's why. <laughs> because they have Yveltal in the back and they want that aligned to our Mewtwo. <laughs> Not gonna happen. You have to meet our Zacian. So how you feeling like they feel like top left in and that's GG's. Nicely done. Okay, moving on into the next one. Faced up against some Mabasoin. Okay, we're happy to see it. We ain't complaining. That's a shadow Mama Swine. We're throwing the side strike straight off the rip, forcing them to make a decision. Yeah, of course they should. That is a shadow Mama Swine. That's gonna be glassy. I mean, a normal Mama Swine is glassy, so a shadow one doesn't want to fill side strike. So they dip out of there into their Dialga, where the Dialga is met with our ground on. How they feeling like as we full send the precipice blades, they decide to shield, they are shieldless. We have one shield. I mean, if we don't believe they're gonna go for Draco, we can actually just save our shield and survive our iron head. But they full send the Draco and we do shield, we overloading on energy. And now we're both shieldless. Bye bye Dialga. And now they come in with Dragonite. Okay, offloading Precipice Blaze. Any chip is better than none before we go down. All right, and then they swap in into their Mama Swan for some reason. Their Mama Swan is gonna have to hold on to this side strike. Oi oi. And then we swap out into our Zacian to meet their Dragonite. And they realize that's GG's and top left. Nicely done. Alright, let's move on into the last one. Okay. Faced up against a Dialga. Okay. Not a great lead, but we don't mind. We're gonna do what we can do to get through it. Offloading that ice beam. How they feeling like they let that go? Okay, now we're just overloading. We're gonna throw the iron head here. We're gonna shield it up. Try and make a play for switch. So we're just overloading as much as we can. And then offloading here. How they feeling like? Do they wanna shield up? No, nope, they let it go. Okay, so we have switch, and then they come in with Mama Swine. Mama Swine can shield back if they want, as we've used the shield, they might want to. Yep, they shield, and then we swap out because they would have potentially just tried to powder snow us down. We're not going to let them do that. Okay, we let that avalanche go. Why are they not swapping out? Are they that weak in the back? Offload the close combat, they shield it up, they are shieldless. And now we're gonna shield back. They might offload this and then get out of here. Let's see. Watch out for a potential catch. They do swap out into Lugia. And Lugia's gonna have to hold on to this wild charge. And don't you worry, we'll get to another one for them. So hold on to this second wild charge. This will bring the Lugia down very low. Yep. <laughs> and they actually throw the move. That's even better for us. Their energy dry. We can just farm them down. Imagine this. Growled on mud shutting down. Lugia. <laughs> They're not going to have an arrow blast. This will be sky attack, so we don't care. Alright, keep mud shutting that down. And then they swap out now. <laughs> into their Mama Swine. Mama Swine holds on to Precipice Blades, bye bye. And now we can just throw the Fire Punch to get rid of this Lugia. And that will wrap things up like a Christmas present. And that was the last battle. So thank you guys for coming by once again. You all take care now. Peace.